big boy. Dominated the line of scrimmage. 224 yards rushing. And now Max Johnson adding. Max Johnson gets the play off. He'll try and run it himself, and he'll pick up the first down. What Max Johnson can do in this football game. He did tell us as far three. as throwing the ball, but that Finley is the better of the two at throwing the ball. Watkinsville, Georgia native, and if the name rings a bell, and he looks a little bit like his daddy did back in the day. Yep. Price in the backfield with it. Uh, first down for the 25. His first throw is right on the money. Out of the pocket, Pepper's gonna chase, and Pepper brings him down. What a play, huh? Oh. He might do pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> Max Johnson, that one hit as he throws, and falls harmless. Rescheduled so far. <laughs> Judge Gilbert, you know, he's big old. That was 17 yard pickup. And I think they got to figure out how to use number two a little bit better. And that one's going to be in five one. Stands tall, delivers, complete, and yeah, close nice, to a that, first down. Nice job by Max that time. Finley, if you're just joining us, one freshman quarterback in for the other. Johnson will keep this one. Gets to the edge to pick up uh, Bob. Outran his asthma. I had to clarify. So he comes back as a five-year-old, and he's a running back. Doesn't go well for a mother after he became such a running young man, 10 years old. Grandpa said, you just are smoking. It stuck with him. I said. <laughs> Here's just Max. Nobody home over there. He zipped it. Go, second down and 20. Johnson, quarterback draw. complete to Boutte, the freshman. Uh, and then what you look for is any player that is continuing to play. So in this case, when you have that, and the result should have been a touchdown. Yeah, the whistle blew before he got it, though. That, that's another question. It was in the end zone. Shiver seems to be in that play, although it was blown. Look, as replay continues to grow and these situations start to show themselves as unique as that player is about. I'll tell you one thing. As replay continues to grow, I'm glad you're growing with us, Gene. And here is a touchdown pass <laughs> to Booty. From, Beautiful throw. Yeah, it was. It was pretty. Max Johnson, his first touchdown as a LSU Tiger, right on the money. Well, it was an interesting play last week, and I wanted to get a little clarity, and uh, LSU finally has a drive. 43-yard touchdown pass. Johnson. Across his body, that's a tough throw for anybody, yeah, especially going that way. Going to be roughing the passer, though. Personal foul, roughing the passer. Defense number 99. Half the distance. Rolls to throw, and he's going to head for the corner. He can get there, and he does. Two-point conversion's good. Good scramble by Max Johnson. He showed his speed. We had, had Coach Ogeron said he's the better runner of the two, and he showed that he's got the wheels. So 8.43 remaining. 71-yard drive engineered by Max Johnson, including the touchdown and the two-point conversion. 48-11 to 11 after Max gets it into the pylon. Completes it to Kirkland, and Kirkland takes a couple of, well, it's one thing or the other with those guys right now. Huh? Oh, this Johnson. We talked about LSU leading the SEC. Never, they never were able to zero in on the quarterback in the pocket. But if you didn't see the first half, a fumble return for a touchdown and a play that was almost a bunch of LSU fans going, I hope Miles gets healthy. Meanwhile, Zach Johnson. Max Johnson throwing deep. Touchdown reception. That's going to be his best day, by the way. We haven't made maybe enough of that because it was one big play. You just a blink of an eye. Johnson, that one skipped off two. 
Low snap. Johnson on a slant. He got it. Completes. First down. Yeah, good job. By Johnson in trouble. Rolls. Throws back. Oh, it was tips. And that was Did caught. Did get through? Yeah. Turns his shoulders. And look at that. Tipped. And through. <laughs> 12 yard pickup. Time to scan the field, running out of time and throw away. Wins it out here. They'll be in the talk for that last, that last spot. And Johnson waited too long that time. Johnson over the middle of Curry. And Curry gets it to the 25. On a scrimmage, they all come. Johnson trying to spin his way through and can't. Johnson out of the pocket. Gets to the sideline and gets back out. Max Johnson off play action. Checks it down to Emery. He picks up. He can beat, a, get, beat the blitz with the pressure. The screen. Duck under on the rush by Tyree Johnson. And down! For defense, it's just this offense has been so unprepared. Un, they haven't executed. They haven't done anything well to me. They have dominated. Johnson avoids the rush again of Tyree Johnson. Incomplete, wide open was Terrace Marshall. Allocating people to try and take him away. Another sack. Just a third and 16. Johnson, underthrown, should have been, been intercepted. Right through the hands of Jalen Jones. Talent. I also think the, the player development that has gone on at Texas A&M. Johnson to Marshall. Eliminated so far this season for Texas A&M. Bobbled ball. Out to the 10-yard line goes Davis Price. Well, Jimbo Fisher and having to recruit Texas. All those connections that you've made. As that ball can't find its way to Eric Gilbert. But your answer is an offensive line. I'm going to continue to attack it. He's been on his A game. He's the MVP tonight. On the slant, it's Marshall. He has a first. It's a coordinator. Here's Johnson, lobbing it down the sideline again, looking for Eric Gilbert, incomplete. When Mike Elko, Max Johnson, there's a nice throw. That's another first down to Terrace Marshall. The speak certainly made an impact in his return. As Johnson dances in the pocket, looking for a check down, doesn't find one, floats one, a wide open Terrace Marshall again. And he's got a first down, but with the SEC title game, when they face off against each other, whoever plays better, and truthfully, whoever wins that game, more than likely is going to win it because I don't. We've got two true freshman quarterbacks, and TJ Finley and Max Johnson trying to play against this NFL style. 24, 36 hours to craft the game plan. Probably not much that is going to be effective. You know, as, as Mitch quarterback run that you might be able to dial up but you that's a wasted opportunity however the opportunity might have came it's wasted again a delayed blitz forces max johnson to unlock johnson running and he gets inside the 20 yard line so you're saying if you're bo nix yeah they're playing What's my answer? What do I do with the football? That's how putting all this stuff on tape helps your defense. This defense, I mean, Rex Ryan. Floats one in a no man's land. You know, the caution is playing number one. Hey, Rick Gilbert. How about that run? He. It, And there is a touchdown pass. Exactly the target, Dan, that you thought he'd be looking for in Terrace Marshall. They both will play, but I think they both have really bright futures. Johnson's going to take off. Uh, picked up four there, second and six. And throws on the run, only about eight. And they've now filled admirably. Much better now watching them than at the beginning of the year. Here's a first down throw to Trey. This ball. Rusher coming right at him, delivers it right on stride, and that's when Palmer can turn up one of the fans. 
But as Gary said, Sertan was the only guy coming back that had a lot of experience and was a starter. But I didn't know we had to play early, Alabama. A little early. And that throw again by Miami. Your uncle's got to recruit you. <laughs> Woo! DeMarco Hellams at time number 29. He's playing for Daniel Wright. And the staff about him, they said, you know, we, we gave Daniel a challenge. He had to hold on to the position, Daniel Wright. <laughs> Winding down at third quarter, Johnson. Uh, been, but I can't blame him because it's was his birthday too. Jamie's birthday Thursday and her husband Sam's yesterday. And meanwhile, uh, Brooke looked a lot happier in that family. The Max Johnson running the show here. Fires on a crossing route. Got it to Carter. And to Ball team into Spartan Stadium and he, he was on a mission to win that game. Yep. But the other guys are going to get to play each other. Alabama is 938 away from wrapping up the West and the two best teams. Johnson on the carry and got the first down. To finish off a lopsided game strong. Max Johnson throws. Nobody throw it away, gets second and ten. Three receivers to his left, and the left hander is in trouble. And ooh. look again, three down linemen, six man front, and they bring the free safety. In a hurry. And a crossing route is complete. And Boutte deep before he blitzed. And Johnson pick up the first down on the sneak. He can as forward progress. Got. Johnson, quick throw, catch, and close to another first down. Johnson throws. Oh, what a catch by Gilbert. Ball goes into the. And gets a hand on. Johnson trying a quarterback sneak. They're trying to push. Four, 240, 50 pounds, and they can run. Johnson bobbled a snap. Got to try to get rid of it. Somehow left-handed it out of the backfield as a wide out. Man, quarterback draw. Or go to the tight end. Oh. The pride of this Alabama defense got a big lead, but they didn't want anybody scoring on them. They gave up two in the first half. The first career start for Max Johnson, the true freshman who has appeared in relief in four games this year. Excellent size, as you see. 6'5", 219, and a good athlete. They just want to get him a little breathing room. They call the quarterbacks. Ty Davis prices the running back. It's a deep throw. And that could be helpful against the pressure defenses of Florida. He throws on the run, just a short complete. So again, starting from the 25, or this time starting for the 25, much better than the one last time for Max Johnson. I'm on the right of your picture, Nicky, who was a great volleyball player in college in South Florida. Design quarterback draw. Johnson turns the corner, has another first. Johnson kept it and got Second and goal, Max Johnson. Throws back oh, to the end zone. Touch. Todd for a touchdown by yeah. Jeray Jenkins. This is beautiful touch by Brad Johnson over the safety or the nickelback Brad Stewart. Max Johnson does a beautiful job of just dropping this over the safety. Watch number two here is going to be in good position. So Max Johnson is just going to layer this ball over two. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's not a true freshman play. No, I've been start. so impressed with it. LSU leading by seven on first and ten. Max Johnson on the first half on third and seven. Max Johnson. On first down, the freshman Max Johnson making his first career start to Alabama. Mm. Hunter Smith of two up with some kind of pressure. They bring five. Johnson spun around. Cannot. Max Johnson. Right now, all the completions are very short. Ooh, dangerous throw. And I'll stretch them deep. Johnson giving a Good nice pocket touch. on target for a first down. Able to make the catch on the in route. <laughs> Max Johnson, man wide open! That's a touchdown for Keyshawn Boutte! So when that happens, somebody from inside has to go out on that receiver. And they are late getting out to Boutte. And Max Johnson sees it. He knows the blitz is coming, and nobody picks up the outside receiver. And it's an easy quarterback of this season for LSU. Nice play fake. Nobody open. He's got to adjust and go with him. Johnson had nowhere to throw the ball. 
Johnson hit as he throws, but has his man. It's Jeray Jenkins. The action pass. Johnson has some running room. He won't make the yardage. He gets thrown down and again. Going quickly again against the Gator defense that really isn't really have the two running backs, Davis Price and Emery. That looked awkward. No, it's a throw. And Five man rush. Max Jackson swept. Ever, ever. A lot of time left in this battle. Final 15 minutes. Max Johnson incomplete. We tied Grantham bring a blitz. Yes, he does. Max Johnson incomplete. Pass interference. Defense number three. He's bought foul. Automatic first down. Me helps Moss do that a lot last year. I'm gonna stay on this camera for a better look without the fog in his boot. With the catch, we think from where we are down around the 10 yard line with Brad Stewart in coverage. Second time they bring the corner blitz. The safety doesn't get over. It's a little double move this time by Butte. He gets set. So it's still Cameron Wire there. On third and goal with a man right in his face. Johnson on target for a touchdown to Trey Bradford. His first career touchdown. He's a true freshman out of Dallas. He had touched the ball only twice all season. One rush and one catch all year prior to tonight. Excellent call because they're going to get a little bit of a wall off here. And the motion man is going to go right out in the flat. And it's well executed. Great call on third and goal. They get to try to win this football game in the last 250. I don't think he can beat Florida here in overtime. And kind of start this drive. Johnson, desire to run. The noise. Approaching two minutes to go. In the flat. Can Cole Taylor get there? No, nowhere near the line to make. Trying to go up and over. And could not escape from Marco Wilson. And After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Number 11 of the defense. Throwing the LSU player's shoe. 20 yards down the field. Unsport uh, this, that's his first unsportsmanlike conduct foul of the game. Automatic first down. I don't think I've ever heard an official announce throwing a player's shoe. Neither team using its timeouts yet on this final drive. Max Johnson, nice call. Four out of five from 50 plus this year. They are going to try to throw it. This what a night for Max Johnson and for LSU, so they could avoid. Team has become accustomed to. Johnson, the left-hander, on the first play. It's an un... To get more looks in this passing game. Swings it outside to Trey Bradford. The figure's only 35% on third down this year. Johnson was Curry they leaned on for 64 yards in that game. He gets one there. Second and nine, it's a... As well, Butte and others having to step up. Second and 14. Johnson to the big two. This a week ago. Mitch Taylor over the middle as LSU's quick back to the line. Johnson flushed out on the move, and it's another strike. Self a chance to extend the play. In the second and five. It's a quick strike, and he put it right. lasted a lot longer, but both sizable vacuums created when those guys are on the field. They're out of the football if they want. Aggies convincing victory over Tennessee. Oklahoma won the Big 12. Ohio State out just outside the red zone. On third and five, it's a first down. Watch as the ball comes out. It does. It comes out cleanly. It's kind of a double row versus number six. The way he conducted himself was impressive. Another underneath throw. Others trying to force a Cade York field goal attempt. Johnson wants a first down. And it's at the feet. Players that they were able to sign and the number of guys that can join their program mid-year. No doubt they want to get better on that side of the ball. There, Sam Williams is one of those guys that forced Johnson to the bench. He's looked good since he's come in. John pocket to work from and able to deliver a good ball to Palmer. Johnson wants to throw the deep ball. One off. One second and ten. Johnson will roll out. 
fakes, tries to get rid of it. And defense has helped them have the lead. Johnson under heavy pressure here, gets rid of it, almost picked her, but already with the pick six. Johnson stands tall, throws a strike to Boutte. And after the catch, he gets back to where boys to deal with this year. For all the opt-outs and injuries and losses of coaches, Max Johnson, his new... Going to hand it off five yards deep. That's what it is. Did Max Johnson get in there? Looks like they're going to say short. For Johnson kept it in his right arm. Try it again. Johnson gets the push. Touchdown. See if LSU stays on the ground. Nope. Going to the air, and it's an underneath throw. And it's a good one. Johnson. Deep ball. Especially offensively. Second and ten. Rebels bring. Getting it to third and manageable. Too many third and long. On third and ten, Johnson will take off. First down. Enough for LSU. Now Johnson to the air. To the sideline. Get here early and was able to participate in the bowl practice. Yeah, that's a good point there. He escapes this and makes the wise decision. And that's, that's a forced fumble and fumble recovery for Gay instead of an interception. Offensively, getting great takeaways and good field position for their offense. He has not played in the past couple of football games. When there's an empty backfield, that usually got Ole Miss is so confused on defense. Lane Kiffin was trying to get a timeout. Instead, it's a first down, and it's a touchdown for Butte. You're right, Taylor. Ole Miss was confused. Did not know where to line up. You put Chris Curry, Curry out of the backfield. That ends up pulling the linebacker out of the middle, and it's just a, a shallow cross, a mesh route, right over the football. Easy read. Champion, but you have to think Iowa State sitting at number six for a reason, to make that Big 12 championship look a little prettier. Johnson, just the easiest pitching in the passing game for this LSU offense. Johnson. Way down the 15-0 season in the national championship. That was a long yard to go, and still quarterback keeper for 14, first down tight. To plug up the middle. Now Johnson wants to go back to the air again. Plenty of time to find Palmer. And that's in the passing game. That time able to hit a strike. Johnson pumps in the time of possession. LSU's had it for over 18 minutes. This is their 51st play in the first half, and it's another Butte catch. And he gets eight. Johnson will throw to the end zone. Butte wide open. How in the world? Does LSU's top target get that wide open, posing for pictures in the end zone? Well, you fill up the backfield a little bit. So you got a blocker there in the backfield. And Cole Taylor, a back alongside. And Max Johnson gets the start at the Rebel 19. And it's Fayetteville earlier this season. Now Johnson trying to pay it. One timeout remaining. Johnson, the design quarterback. You wonder, are they going to be able to get off big chunk yardage plays offensively? And this is caught by Moore making a move back to the. From the 34, Johnson to on over there. It's also raining. It's a great decision this offseason. SEC Network helmet for Kubelik. As Moore makes another one inside the 20. We hadn't seen him since Arkansas. They just had other guys that step up on the perimeter. Johnson in. Johnson in that pistol set. Here come the Rebels to the end. We still haven't really seen a dominant run game from LSU. All day to throw. And it's Joe said everybody's asking him for shoes now for Christmas. Johnson on third and eight. Tried by which they lead now. 
Second and eight for Johnson. All day. Just too much time. Butte past midfield. Out of bounds. More with that play from Butte. Each with seven now. Second and 11, Johnson. It was not the beginning of the second half we anticipated. Johnson plays in this passing game. Just unstoppable. Johnson, after a bad snap, keeps it himself. They get 50 yards passing in the game. Looking for more. And the lead. And second half, only 27 yards on 10 attempts. Well, part of the John Emery has not played either. So it's been Max Johnson loading up time after time. A flat LSU's own 47. Just over eight minutes left. Johnson, again it's Boutte. Four times in this game, it either cost him a chance to make a play on a football or a tackle. Here's down here all night, threw it to the Rebels last time. Takes off. And you know what's coming on third and one. Johnson all night with the keeper. Look at the effort. Continuing your screen. Bradford's in the backfield with Johnson. Johnson looks to Butte. To the one. Bradford's behind him. Tries to dive in there. Touchdown. Johnson kept it himself. Johnson throws incomplete. Max Johnson, no timeouts, own 44 yard line. Johnson, all day. Another delivery to Butte. They can't stop this guy. Look at this. Touchdown, Tigers. All day, as you pointed out, Taylor. Watch Butte fight through these tackles. I mean, it just spins right out of it. And now the only question is, yes, he scored. Did he score too fast? We got Ole Miss. A lot of ball left. They have shown some serious explosiveness all season long. Kayshawn Boutte, we pick up a big run. And we got another official down on the ground. Go down right before the end zone. Matthew is going to finish the season with huge wins over two big rivals, Florida and Ole Miss. Really the Kayshawn Boutte show at receiver. And that'll do it. Max Johnson and the Tigers outlast Ole Miss in what was a thriller tonight. Congratulations Relax, to everyone in the Southeastern Conference. 70 games were scheduled and 68 were played in the middle of a pandemic. Incredible job to get through this season. One day.